make some cookies. Uh-huh. What kind? Oatmeal. You should be late all the time. He is. So what are we going to do today anyway? I don't know what you want to do. Whatever you want to do. We're smoke detectives. We've got to do something. <clears throat> well, why don't we start by reading the minutes from last week, Brian? Carrie was late. We made the fire escape for the clubhouse, and then we didn't do anything. Hmm. What's on the agenda today? Agenda? List of things to do. Nothing. Yeah. We haven't had a case since Mrs. Cunningham asked us to investigate the missing battery in her smoke detector. Maybe we can make sandwiches. Just an idea. Hello, smoke detectives. Smoke detectives. I think I've got a case for you. There's something strange going on at the old Hollingshead house. Hollingshead house. Hollingshead house. to have frightened you boys and girls. I must have scared you half out of your wits. Oh, brother. I thought vampires were supposed to sleep in coffins. Vampire? He looks more like he belongs in a cereal box. Cereal box? Ooh, I, I used to sleep in coffins, I tell you. Oh, it's scary. I'd wake up with a, a creak in my neck. Ooh. Now I, I, I hang out in one of these. And sometimes the blood goes to my head, and I, I can't get out of it. What are you kids doing here, anyway? We're smoke detectives. We got a call about fire hazards in this house. From whom? She didn't say. Oh, she? Ah, uh, must have been my mother. The old bat. <laughs> old bat. <laughs> old bat? <laughs> Fire hazards? That reminds me. Did you ever hear the story of the fire monster? No. Would you like to hear it? No. Aha! That's because you're frightened. Ooh, the fire monster is very scary. It gives me the willies and everything. What's it about? Well, it's about boys and girls who leave their bedroom doors open at night because they're afraid of monsters. Uh, you're supposed to sleep with your door closed at night. 
keeps out flames and smoke if there was a fire. Fire and smoke, yes, that's how the fire monster used to frighten the little children. Now, <laughs> once upon a time, ooh, there was a monster who used to go places and start fires in people's houses and they would panic and they didn't know what to do. Why did they panic? Wouldn't you panic if your house was on fire? No, I'd stay calm and get out fast. You little liar. Anyway, ooh, wherever the fire monster went, there was fire. Especially late at night when, when families were sleeping and then by the time they woke up, it'd be too late. Didn't they have smoke detectors? Yeah. What? Didn't they have smoke detectors in their houses to warn them about fires? No, they didn't have smoke detectors. Oh, yes. Yes, they, yes, they did have smoke detectors. I stand corrected. They had them, but they were broken. How come? Because the batteries were, were dead. <gasps> dead! You're supposed to check them every month. Check what? The batteries. Again with the batteries. What's with you, kid? Well, look, these people didn't. And they would wake up in the middle of the night and then run around coughing on the, on the smoke in the air. Ooh, it was a horrible sight. They were coughing and choking. <laughs> but you're supposed to crawl on the ground. Crawl? Yeah, like this. You can breathe. Very nice. Anyway, the fire monster, he used to frighten children. But what happened is they'd be so frightened that they'd, they'd hide in their closets or, or even under their beds. But if you hide, the firefighters can't find you. Yeah, all right. Forget that, all right? Just forget it. Forget the whole thing. It's, forget burning houses. The, the fire monster was invisible. Yes, he was invisible. And he'd go up and whisper into little kids' ears. He'd say, kid, come here. Play with matches, he'd say. Play with the matches, kid. Go ahead. Man, that's stupid. If anyone tells you to play with matches, they're stupid. Well, look, they didn't know that, especially the little ones like old... Hey. Hey, where is that little one? Yeah, where is Carrie? Probably looking for the kitchen. The kitchen? Hope he doesn't get into my blood sausage. <laughs> Ooh, that stuff's scary. Gives me a bad case of the heebie-jeebies. Well, we better look for him. Let's split up. Sarah, you go with Count Floyd, and me and Brian are going to look around downstairs. OK, kid, come on. Let's see if we can find that little guy. Maybe he's behind me. No, don't open that door! This is scary! You're telling me I hate the daylight! No, I mean the window. It's painted shut. How would you get out in case of a fire? Well, maybe I... Maybe I couldn't get out. You should have a grown-up fix these. Hey, I am a grown-up fix. Oh, sorry. Carrie! Carrie? Cat won't blow the look at this! They could start a fire. Check! Little bud! Little bud! Ah! 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 Ooh. Ooh. Did I... Did I frighten you? Hello? What was that? It sounded like Carrie. Hello? Carrie? I'm in here. Where? Where's here? Carrie, how did you get in there? Where's the book is. Book? Secret passageway? Come on, let's go tell the others. I didn't know I had a secret passageway. <coughs> There's got to be some way to get this thing open. What if we push harder? I'm pushing harder already. I need a break. Count Floyd smokes! Yuck! Well, it's a nasty habit, but what other kind of habits would I have? <laughs> it's just that smoking is a major cause of house fires. And it's bad for your health. Yeah. Hi. Carrie, are you all right? Yeah, but it's scary in there. A bunch of old rags and newspapers lying around. Hmm. Dragon beats Mondale. Who's Mondale? Never mind that. These old papers are fire hazards. Check. Where's Mark Floyd? Oh! Oh, Help Floyd, no, he's in there. Come on. Give me a hand here. Oh, oh, oh boy. I got the willies in there.
there. I'll tell you, it's real scary. That's Ooh. because we have to clean up all those old papers and rags. They're fire hazards. Clean? Count Floyd never cleans. It wouldn't be right. Now get you little rugrats. I've had enough of you. Just take a powder. Get lost. Okay, we're out of here. But we're gonna leave the smoke detectors checklist and video. And we'll come back tomorrow to see if all these fire hazards have been taken care of. Or else. Or else what? Or else we'll tell your mom. Yeah. Ah, my mother, no, don't. No. She's a type A old bat if I ever saw one. But if you have your mom sign the checklist, you could become a smoke detective too. Checklist. Checklist. videos, scary stuff. <laughs> Ooh. This is my dad changing the battery in the smoke detector. And then we practiced Edith. That means exit drills in the home. Here's my mom showing me how to be careful in the kitchen. Put a lid on grease fires. And if you ever do get burned, put cold water on it. Then she showed my sister how to call for help. 911 or O for operator. Here's my dad making sure flammable stuff is put away safely. And then he put a fire extinguisher in the garage. Here's a safe house at the fire department. Ooh, clumsy exposition, not a good sign. <laughs> and the reason we're here today is we're gonna talk a little bit about fire safety what to do if your house is on fire, and how to make our homes a little safer. How many of you have smoke detectors? Good, good. Okay, put your hands down. Let me ask you another question. How many of you know for sure that there's a battery inside? Well, that's great. I'm glad to see so many hands. You know what? A smoke detector will protect your home. But when I go to a fire, I have special equipment that protects my body. The first thing I need is my... Boots. My boots, that's right. The next thing I need is my my fire coat, right? And this is a special coat. The next thing the firefighter needs is something to protect his lungs. My air tank, exactly. Let me ask you, if you don't have all this equipment, can you go inside a burning building? No. No. Should you go back in to get your toys or your money or your... No. no you never go into a burning building. Is the fireman our friend? Yes! Well, even though I may look like a monster, I'm not a monster, am I? Monster? He's no monster, he's a firefighter. <laughs> Would you like to help me show the boys and girls what to do if their clothes catch on fire? Yes. Okay. What's Daniel gonna do if his clothes catch on fire? Stop, drop, and roll. Oh, that's right, that's right. Are you ready, Daniel? Yes. Okay, let's try it, Daniel. Get all the way down. Okay, cover your eyes, and let's roll like a basketball. Keep rolling, now roll back the other way. Very good, keep rolling. The fire's not out yet, keep rolling. Come on, the fire's almost out. One more time, Daniel, come on. The fire is out, give him a big hand, yay! All right. We learned how to do stop, drop, and roll, and that is so important. Now what we need to do is to practice how to get out of our safe house. Hope it's not a haunted safe house. Oh! Okay, we're in our safe house, and we're gonna practice how to get out. The first thing we have to do when that smoke detector goes off, and he's with us, of course, he's gonna let us know when there's a fire or there's smoke. And the minute it goes off, I want you to roll out of bed, get down low, and crawl to the wall and feel the wall until you come to the door. And it's important to feel that wall because you'll know where you're at. You're either gonna come to a window or a door and you'll have a way out. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's try it. Close your eyes. And all of a sudden, our friendly smoke detector goes off. Is it hot? Okay, open it slowly. Open it slowly. Okay. What if the door isn't cool? What if it's hot? Feel the door. What would you do that? Feel it. Feel it. Open it. Open it. Take a look. 
Uh oh, there's smoke out there. Very good. Okay, let's cover it up. Cover it up. Pull it down. Good. Cover it quickly so that smoke doesn't come in. Okay, let's go out the window. Is it safe? Go out the window. Open it. Very good. Well, that's easy for her. She's on the ground level. What about me? I'd break my neck. I'm on the fifth floor. But now let's pretend the fire is on is on the fifth floor and you live on the fifth floor and you can't get out because the fire is in the hallway. We're just gonna have to wait for the fireman to come get us. Okay, the door is closed, the smoke's not coming in and that's good. We've got our window open, but we've gotta yell for help. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's put the sheet out and let's yell for help. Ready? Help! Fire! Help! Help! Fire, fire hazards! Fire! Help me get rid of my fire hazards! Oh! This is the official smoke detective's checklist and it's so important that mom and dad sit with you and go through the list to make sure that your house is safe from fire. After you do that and mom or dad has signed it, you will receive the official smoke detective's badge. Would you like one? I want to be a smoke detective. I want to be a smoke detective. I want to be a smoke detective. Oh boy. Oh, that's some scary video. Boy, yeah, ironic, isn't it? I was just trying to scare those little children with a story about the fire monster, and now I'm... Boy, I better get going on that checklist right away. this place. What happened in here? Everything's so clean. It even looks like he's taking care of the fire hazards we warned him about. Fire hazards? Hello, Floyd! That's Firefighter Floyd to you, Chief Inspector of the Transylvania Fire Prevention Bureau. Transylvania Fire Prevention Bureau? You don't think there are any fire hazards in Transylvania? Well, there are a lot of them, I tell you. What with the belfries and the secret laboratories? Why, just the other day, Baron von Frankenstein's castle went up in flames. Not a single smoke detector and the whole place. Somebody's got to warn them. But what do you know about fire safety? Oh, you don't believe me? Well, ask. Go ahead and ask. Count. Firefighter Floyd knows. Okay, what's the first thing you should do if a smoke alarm goes off at night? You roll out of bed. And then? And then you crawl low, like a snake or something, and feel the door to see if it's warm. And then? And then, if it's cool, I open the door slowly and keep crawling until I'm safely out of the house. And then? And then, I go to my meeting place. And then? Then I call the fire department, or 911, or the operator. What about the fire hazards we told you about yesterday? Well, always tell a grown-up. And since I am a grown-up, I took care of them. Here, see for yourself. Looks like he's got everything. Let's make him a smoke detective. Yeah. But the rules say he has to have his checklist signed by a parent. It's signed. It could be a clever forgery. Forgery? I'll have you know I flew all the way to my dear, sweet mother in Transylvania to have that signed. Wow! You're telling me. My arms are so tired I couldn't even fly off the handle. I guess we can give Count Floyd a smoke detector's badge now. Yeah! yeah. Boy, thank you. You're too kind. Ah, but now, I must leave. You see, I don't like to be awake in the day, and, well, I must get my sleep. Not in that upside-down thing, I hope. No, no, I think I'm gonna try something new. Hang upside down in a cave? Ooh, no, too drafty. Now, this time, I think I'm gonna sleep in, in a bed. 
with pillows and, and blankets and everything. <laughs> well, good night. Sweet dreams. Uh, thank you, but I prefer nightmares with scary ghosts and monsters that howl in the night. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Say good night. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Anything. Maybe we can... <laughs> Smoke detectives! Smoke detectives! Oh, big problems in Transylvania! You better come quick! <laughs> Transylvania? As long as we're home by dinner. Here we go again! Give me some orders too. <laughs> hey guys, 